Hi guys, it's Paul Lynch here and welcome to the first pre-launch video of Easy Sketch Pro 3.0. As you can see, I've got the software open. I'm just about to give you a live demonstration. But what I want you to focus on is how fast and reliable the software is now. And I'm going to point out the differences between the older versions and this supersonic new version as we get into it. Okay, so there's a whole new look and feel as you can see. Um, We've got some fantastic new features that I'm going to be showing you throughout this video series. So, for those of you who are new to EasySketch Pro, here's what EasySketch Pro does. It creates doodle animation cartoon videos that are 153% proven to keep your viewer more interested in what you are trying to show them. So, for example, for this example, let's pretend that we are creating a video for a local, I don't know, travel agency. Okay, so I'm going to go into image folder. I'm already in the travel uh, and travel agency folder here. We've got tens of thousands of new different niche and categories and subjects now within the 3.0 version. So I'm literally going to build out this really short little video in no, no time at all uh, for a travel agent. Okay, so we're just going to start putting some images on the canvas obviously we keep the images in the white part of the canvas um, now notice how in this version we don't need to right click and request focus or anything like that literally wherever we drag and drop the images that is where the software will draw them okay so it really is been created for simplicity so I'm just going to put this one last one in. Okay, so I'm going to put that down there. And then we might add some text. Welcome to my travel agency. Obviously we can change the fonts and colours and bold italic underline but just for the purpose of this video you don't want me to spend time doing that. So I'm just going to put that on. Uh, then we can make that as big or as small, do whatever we want with that. And again wherever we leave the image or the text that is exactly where it's going to be drawn. Okay now uh, with the older versions, say, say we've run out of space on the canvas, we had to create a new canvas, then we had to right click, request focus, do all these little things to make sure the video played correctly. But now, all we do, we click new slide, just like you do in PowerPoint, and then we carry on adding images. Don't have to do anything else, just add the images wherever you leave them, that's where the software will draw. Okay, no right clicking this, right clicking that nice and simple so I'm just going to delete that because I don't want that uh, slide on so we're back to the original slide now maybe we want to add um, music so we go to our music library we've got lots and lots of new tracks here okay so I'm just going to pick uh, I'll just pick one there and now in, in the old version when we wanted to test a music track it took ages and ages just to hear the music track play because it was such a large file. Well, the way we've built Easy Sketch Pro 3.0 is for everything we want, everything done in the quickest time possible. So just watch how quickly now I can listen to a particular track. So I select this track, I just cl click the play button, and it's instant. Okay, in the older version, we had to look down the right hand corner for like the timer making sure that the file was uploaded before we could hear the file and now I'm going to add this to the video and just watch how quickly it adds the music to the video there we go done almost instantly in seconds so now what I'm going to do is choose a different hand because we've got lots of hundreds of different hands and different uh, religions to choose from so I'm going to choose the uh, a white child with a crayon in the hand so now guys I'm just going to click the preview and just wa watch how quickly it took me to build this little video
there we go everything all the images are in the exact place where I put them on the canvas the text is in the exact place it looks really cool with the with the crane in the child's hand there we go from start to finish literally minutes to build out a video I know I've been chatting and stuff and pointing things out but it literally is minutes to build one of these cool cool videos okay guys but here is where we take it to a whole new level because up here we have a new button inside the software called interactive okay so what I'm going to do and first thing I'm going to do is export this video now to my desktop then I'm going to shoot you a new video and show you exactly what this special interactive button does. So before I click the export button, I just want you to watch how quickly now the software actually exports the, your work to an MP4 player. In the older versions, it could it could take up to 10 minutes to export the video. Just watch how quickly this exports. So I'm just going to name this video my travel agency I'm just gonna press save just watch this guys there we go guys literally 40 seconds where in the older versions could take up to 10 minutes you can now produce I could produce about 100 videos in one day for different local businesses around the world it is that easy to use okay so what I'm gonna do now this video has now been generated and it's saved on my desktop I'm gonna click this interactive button and see you in the next video okay thanks for that Paul in this section of the video what I want to concentrate on is how we can make our videos interactive now this is a brand new feature of easy sketch pro and it really is going to help maximize your conversions making more sales and generating more leads and I'll show you exactly how to do this now, there's a loads of different elements of the software but what we're going to concentrate on now is actually the Facebook element getting more people to like your fan page or your business page and it really couldn't be simpler once we've created our easy sketch pro video we add it very simply to the interactive side we then have actually viewed the video as you can see now i've just muted it i'm just going to play it now what i want to do is when i want the icon to come in and this is the the interactive part i simply add a new hotspot here on the right hand side so let's say at five six seconds i want a new hotspot i press add new hotspot and as you can see i now have a hotspot directly in the center of the video now this hotspot can be edited it can be changed to where i want it to move with that drag and drop i'll just put it there for ease um, with regards to the icons we have 950 icons so i'm going to choose the facebook icon now don't worry we are going to put a search bar here so you can actually search for the icon that you want so once i've got the facebook one so i'm going to go to facebook uh, i want it to be large let's do large now with regards to duration this gives me total flexibility i can make the hotspots be visible at any time i want and i can make them go at any time i want so this is going to come in at six seconds let's just change it to 10 so it'll be visible for um for actually four seconds now with regards to the color i don't like the color the way it is there so with the color i can either choose the slider and go up and down get as near as I can with Facebook or I can put in the exact color with the actual code I'm just going to choose now this allows me to make the hotspots blend in perfectly with my sketch videos or I can even make it blend in with my logo with my website it is limitless because of the ability to put in the exact color that I want so with regards to the force capture that you can see here what will happen now is the video will display I should have said the video will play and then at six seconds the hotspot will come in and then a person my viewer can choose whether or not to click the hotspot the beauty about the hotspots is they do get people engaged people have that curiosity people do click and you will see that in future videos with the proof that we are going to show now if I want to actually make a person click the hotspot 
um, what we can do with the force capture is the video will actually pause when the icon is visible and will not start again until a person has clicked on the icon and viewed what we have to offer but for this i'll just keep the force capture off now like i said there's loads of different elements of the software but what we're as you can see here loads of different elements but what we're going to concentrate on is the facebook element i want more people to like my fan page so i'm going to choose facebook page i'm going to go over to facebook and i'm going to grab the url of my facebook page i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it in couldn't be simpler press save and now I have the Facebook element of the software to get people to like my fan page on the right hand side you will see a little bit of housekeeping so the more hotspots I have on my video the more that will be displayed it will tell me the time and it will tell me what is visible within that hotspot fantastic way to be able to edit each hotspot I may have 10 I may have 20 I may have 30 rather than go through the video and check what's going to come up next I can simply click on here and it will take me to the exact hotspot as I edit something on my video within the software it will update real time wherever I have the video displayed let's go to save there okay so I'm just gonna go to um, rather than actually go over and show you a preview of how it looks on Facebook because that will come in other other videos I'm just gonna go to the preview mode okay uh, I'm just gonna actually move that back uh, and we'll just play it and once it comes in the hotspot okay click on the hotspot so as you can see now, this a person would be viewing my video, the Facebook element would come up, I could potentially tell them in my video for more information, hit the like button on my Facebook page and the, the icon, I could even have um, arrows pointing at it, I could do it with my editing, with my narration, there's loads of ways I can do it, or I can simply let the hotspots work the magic, and believe me, they do. They work on that micro commitment all the time through the video, we're getting that micro commitment, we're getting people to click on the hotspots, we're getting people to engage, and that's what it's all about. So as you can see, um, this has come up now on the video, so this is the video version, as we click over, it's going to go over to Easy Sketch Pro, and I'm going to simply go and like that page. And there I am liking the page and getting more people liking my page. Okay, so that is the interactive side with the Facebook element. There's a whole host of things to come. So do keep your eye out for what we are going to release because you are going to be blown away. And this is going to be a fantastic tool to have in your arsenal. It's going to be a must-have tool. Thank you for listening.